Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is the fourth race in season number one of the HERS Elimination Series. We are here at the Talladega Super Speedway to eliminate the fourth driver of the season, a 12-lap race here today. And let's get right to the starting lineup, the finishing results of the Armory Digital Race that we had last week. Let's get to the starting lineup here. We got Alan Cavagnaro, the winner of the race before, starting on the pole. We got Stuart Gratton, Cameron Gaju. Dean Wickard, sorry about that, Garrett Zanor, L.J. Mills, Ferdinand Gabat, Cameron Garlington, Austin Spencer, Matt Dalio, Tristan Walker, Tyler Selzman, Harry J. Larvin, Alonzo, Clint Buchanan, Biff Crafton, Dana Mon, and Joffrey Toussaint. We've eliminated three drivers so far of this season. They have been Jacob Reed, Aaron Walpole, and Max Newworth. We'll see who the fourth one is here today at Talladega. Make sure that nobody goes kaboom and everybody is okay so that's good so Cavagnaro got his first career Napa fan win at the Armory Digital Super Speedway uh, last week um, and now he is starting on the pole for the Talladega race of course even though those two these this track and Armory Digital are very similar Talladega is a little crazier get a little more uh, faster racing here and a lot more of a likelihood of crashes uh, than we do at Armory Digital. So this is going to be an interesting race. It's also going to be a fun one here today. We'll see who gets the win, and we'll see who gets eliminated when, once this 12-lap race is done. So the pace car has pulled off. They're heading through the tri-oval now. And Cavagnaro and Grattan, they finished 1-2 at Armory Digital. They're going to start 1-2 here at Talladega. And here we go. The green flag is out, and we are underway for the fourth race of the season. Now, it's definitely possible we could see a crash in this race. Um, we did see one at Daytona, and this is... You know, the same, we got the same likelihood of a crash here at Talladega as we do at, um, at Daytona. So, only eliminated three guys so far, so the, the uh, likelihood of a crash is a little less than it was at Daytona. But it is still possible. When they go four wide, it usually doesn't work. Two cars went high. That's Cameron Gaju and Garrett Sonor. Cavagnaro is still out front, and then the number 20 has got LJ Mills right behind him. And Cavagnaro leads the first lap of the race. And the speeds here are about 40, about 30 or so miles per hour faster than they were at Armory Digital. So this is a totally different super speedway than Armory Digital, but uh, still a good one. Actually, I think it's a better one. Mills trying to get three wide for the lead. He's going to do so in the 18 car. And somehow, Gratton's making the outside lane work. Now, we haven't really ever seen the outside work here at Talladega before. Uh, we see it work at uh, Daytona. That's the difference between Daytona and Talladega. But uh, here, you usually, want, you usually want to be on the inside lane. The inside lane is usually the place you want to be. The same goes for Armory Digital. That's the place, if you want to get out from, that's where you want to be. You can, you know, keep the lead on the outside to Daytona, but you, it's kind of hard to do that here at Talladega. Ferdinand Gabat took the lead from LJ Mills on lap number three. Here comes Austin Spencer in the 38. And here comes Tristan Walker in the 88. They're three wide for the lead now, and here comes Walker for first place. There's Clint Buchanan on this inside lane with Biff Crafton in the number two. And... Coming close to going 4Y, but they're not going to do it. Buchanan is going to lead this lap. He leads lap number 3, so we are now a quarter of the way through the race. Biff Crafton, the winner at Thunder Road, taking the lead from Clint Buchanan. Here comes Joffrey Dussant. He started last place. He almost got eliminated at Armory Digital, but uh, now he's running up here at Talladega. Uh-oh. Four wide, Matt Dalio, Austin Spencer, and Alan Cavignaro. Cavignaro is actually going to be stuck four wide. We're going to have two four wides. And that does not look good. You are four wide in two places right now. And I think the closest 
cars are Austin Spencer and Matt Dalio. And now they're only four wide back here. That's Aragel Arvin Alonso and Ferdinand Gabbat four wide. You got to be careful not to crash. Because if you crash and you get enough damage, you might be eliminated. Garrett Sonor has taken the lead, but we'll follow this. And it looks like you're going to be able to keep it safe. So good job by those guys not crashing. Garrett Sonor is now the leader here at Talladega in the number 17. He's one of those guys that's been in pretty much every series but still hasn't gotten the win yet. Selzman takes the lead. Here he was 7th. He went from 7th to 1st in one lap. That's what you can do here at Talladega. You can be all the way back there and just take the lead in one lap. Gratton finished 2nd in Armory Digital. He's now taking the lead from his Aussie team. Well, not teammate. But they're both Australian drivers up front. And uh, Stuart Gratton now taking the lead in the number 12. Matt Dalio in the number 6 on this inside lane. He was part of that four wide we had earlier. We got LJ Mills. He took the lead earlier in the race. I think we got four wide again. Ferdinand Gabat in the four wide with Dana Mon and Garrett Zanor. This time they might not be able to go get away with this one. Garrett Zanor on the high lane in the number 17. And they're going to be able to pull it off. Matt Dalio in the number 6. Out front, Cavignaro is trying to get by the 24. Here comes Clint Buchanan in the number 9. Buchanan now trying to get second from Cavignaro and trying to get the lead from Matt Dalio. Here, Joe Larvin Alonso, who won at Daytona. So this track is similar to Daytona. He's actually going to go three wide for the lead. He knows how to get it done. we got more four wide, and it's, it's Thurm, Ferdinand Gabat again. Somehow, Gabat always seems to get four wide. But he does a good job not crashing. We're all good drivers here. Alonzo is out front. The first two winners of the season here, Joe Larvin Alonzo and Biff Crafton. 1-2 here at Talladega. Here comes Joffrey Toussaint. And we're getting close to the end of this race. We're on lap 8 of 12. When we cross the line next time by, it will be, I believe, four laps to go. Cameron Gaju in the 32, moving his way up. And it's still Biff Crafton out front in the number two. If he was out front before I said that, I don't know. Cameron Gaju in the 32. Getting underneath of the two of Biff Crafton. Here comes Dean Wickard in the 15. Garrett Sonor in the 17. Dana Mon in the 43. And Dana Mon has that really, really good uh, winning streak going in the um, Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Doing a fantastic... Oh, we got a crash! That's Stuart Gratton in the wall. LJ Mills, Ferdinand Gabot, and that's Cameron Garlington. Mills upside down. Oh, no, man. That's not good for Garlington. I think Garlington might be the one eliminated. Dana Mon is going to take the lead, and that actually might... That might be the race to the line. I think I don't think we're going to be able to get back to racing here. How about Dana Mon and his winning streak? Ferdinand Gabot all torn up. Clint Buchanan, Cameron Garlington, and L.J. Mills. It's going to be a. I think it's going to be between Mills and Garlington to see who gets eliminated. But we'll see. Let's review what happened here. And uh, L.J. Mills ended up flipping. But somehow I don't know. They weren't weren't going anywhere near four wide, but here's Garlington. Oh, I think he got too close to Gabot, and he got spun with Gratton, and I don't know how LJ Mills did what he did in that number 24, but uh, it was not good. He crashed with Ferdinand Gabot and Clint Buchanan here. Mills, okay, this is what happened. The crash happens in front of Mills. He goes down to the apron, comes back up, and clips Ferdinand Gabot, and he hits that wall Really hard. That's Clint Buchanan that put him up there. And uh, tough break for L.J. Mills and especially Cameron Garlington. Neither of them were able to drive away from that. Uh, both Hendrick cars, too. That's kind of hard for that team. But how about Dana Munn? I think he, he took the lead, and I don't think we're going to be able to get back to racing. We're on lap 10 of 12. 
the lights would have to go out the next time we cross the line, and I don't think that's going to happen. So Dana Mine is going to get his third career Napa fan win. And that's coming in the span of one week. Yes, he got his first one last Tuesday. And he won on Sunday in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series as well. He's going to win here at Talladega in the HERS Elimination Series. So how about that? Dana Mon really showing the way on Napa Fan in the recent weeks, in this past week, with three wins in one week. That's kind of a good stat there. He's definitely one of those uh, guys to watch out for in every series. And, of course, the lights aren't out, so that means it is over. And Dana Mon, only unless, he, of course, he has a problem under these caution laps, he will be the winner. And the last place driver is L.J. Mills in the number 27, or number 24, I should say. And that's kind of a hard one there. He was the one that flipped. He had the most damage, so I'm pretty sure that's why uh, he was the one eliminated in that number 24. Uh, but a tough break for L.J. Mills. He did a great job in this series, and I loved having him in there. Anyway, there's Dana Mon taking his win. Actually, let me get the uh, full screen view of him crossing a line for that little picture at the end there. So yeah, Dana Mon gets his third career Napa fan win here today at Talladega. So it's looking really good for Amon in every series. He's going to start on pole for the next race, which I believe is at Kentucky Speedway. Uh, we'll have a standalone race along with the truck series uh, at that racetrack next in the HERS Elimination Series. Thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Dana on his win and the tough break for LJ Mills. He's going to be the driver eliminated this time in the HERS Elimination Series. But anyway, we're heading to Kentucky now, and that's our first uh, intermediate track of the season. So it's going to be interesting to see how these guys uh, play with that track. And yeah, so that's all for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Dana Mon, and I will see you guys later. Sweet home.